Samsung has rolled out the second beta update for One UI 8.5, and while it may not look exciting at first glance, it plays an important role in refining the software before its final release. This update focuses mainly on fixing bugs, improving stability, expanding availability to more regions, and quietly hinting at possible future camera upgrades. One UI 8.5 is based on Android 16 and is currently available for the Galaxy S25, Galaxy S25 Plus, and Galaxy S25 Ultra. The second beta update is just over 1.1 GB in size and includes the December 2025 security patch. This shows that Samsung's priority at this stage is security, smooth performance, and reliability rather than adding flashy new features. Most of the changes in this beta are related to fixing problems reported by users in the first version. One noticeable improvement involves the camera. Samsung has adjusted settings in the Camera Assistant app to allow better control over features like dual recording and single-take mode. This gives users more flexibility when using advanced camera functions. Another fix resolves an issue where quick panel settings failed to load properly during boot on some devices. Samsung has also adjusted icon spacing in the quick panel, making it look cleaner and more consistent. The Gallery app has received attention as well. Previously, some users noticed that photos stored in group folders were being moved to the first album page without reason. This behavior has now been corrected. Call performance has also improved, especially when opening extra options during a call. Stuttering and lag in these situations have been reduced. Samsung has also addressed random reboot issues that occurred occasionally when the phone was left idle, making the overall experience more dependable. Hardware-related bugs were not ignored either. In certain cases, the volume up button did not respond properly, but this issue has now been fixed. Samsung has also resolved sound problems that occurred during calls when using Bluetooth car systems under specific conditions. In addition, system stability has improved when running multiple third-party apps at the same time, reducing forced app closures. Core apps, including the camera, have also been updated to improve overall performance. Alongside these fixes, Samsung has expanded the One UI 8.5 beta to more regions. When the beta program was first announced, Samsung said it would be available in six countries. However, users in Poland and India were left out at launch. With this second beta update, Galaxy S25 users in both Poland and India can now finally join the program. While this expansion is welcome, Samsung's regional restrictions still raise questions. Other companies, such as Apple, usually allow beta software to be installed globally as long as the device is supported. Samsung's approach often leaves many users waiting, even when their phones are fully capable of running the software. One UI 8.5 is expected to officially launch alongside the Galaxy S26 series next year. The final version is likely to introduce more noticeable changes and new features. For now, the beta stage is mainly about testing, fixing issues, and preparing the software for a smooth public rollout. Interestingly, the beta has also revealed something much more exciting behind the scenes. Code found in the Camera Assistant app suggests that Samsung may be experimenting with support for professional camera accessories. The code includes references to Tile TA, a brand known for making professional camera rigs, mounts, and control systems used in filmmaking. Tile TA accessories allow precise control over focus, zoom, and other settings using physical hardware instead of touch screens. The presence of this code suggests that Samsung is exploring ways to let Galaxy phones work with professional filmmaking gear. If this feature becomes reality, Galaxy phones could be mounted on professional rigs and controlled using external focus wheels and controllers. This would allow creators to use a smartphone more like a cinema camera, which could be appealing to filmmakers and advanced users. However, it is unclear which devices would support this feature or whether it will ever be released publicly. Professional camera gear is expensive and used by a small group of users. For most people, improvements in video quality, stabilization, and low light performance would matter far more. Some believe this potential feature is more about marketing than practicality. It could be showcased during a Galaxy S26 launch event even if very few people actually use it. It is also important to remember that code discoveries do not guarantee final features. Many ideas are tested during development and never make it into the final release. Even so, the second One UI 8.5 beta is an important step forward. With useful fixes, wider availability, and hints at ambitious camera plans, Samsung is clearly laying the foundation for its next major software update.